2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. God wants you to join to change. You have to conform to the Bible. Guess what, to joy, if you believe on the Bible. If you have your hope and faith in the Most High, you're gonna say, you know what? Everything that Bible says, I may not like the way it sounds because it's offensive, right. but the Most High God is right. That's right. God is right. That's right. Listen to this right here, to joy. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Because black women, to joy, are broken. Black men are broken. Well, guess what, at least you admit it. We all broken. Right. This is what's gonna fix us. Listen to this. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in that, modest that apparel. Women, that women, to joy, clothe themselves in modest apparel. Meaning you know what? How is God saying a woman is supposed to dress? Yes, what kind of clothes? Let me ask you a question. Come here, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You've been around for a little bit. You've seen a lot. Do have have black women changed the way they dress from the 70s till now? Yeah. Mm. You say yeah. Tremendously. You say yeah. What do you say? Yes or no? Tremendously. Tremendously. What do you say? Why do you say yes? How did black women dress in the 70s? Oh, man. You you said afros, and what, do you, what did you see? So okay, the, the way black women dress now, is it better or worse? To each his own. You say, what do you say to Joy? Black women, did they dress better back then or worse now? Better back then. Listen to this, watch this. Listen to what the Bible says, listen. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also. In like manner also, watch this, listen good. That woman. Now he's addressing women, watch this, come on. Adorn themselves. Adorn meaning clothe themselves, come on. In modest apparel. Modest apparel meaning what? This woman, black, Latino, is not gonna show you her cleavage. She's not gonna do that. She's not going to show you her breasts. She's not going to show you her behind. Why? That was a totally different era. That was a totally different you know, era. Now, okay. Everything has changed. Okay. It's universal. Everybody want to do what they want to do, right? Okay, born in Jamaica. I couldn't even wear skirts. Past many at all. At all. Until I got maybe like 17, like 18, 19 maybe. You, she, you then started I to... started to slowly, you know, show a little skin. So you say Honestly, that... See, I didn't start wearing short shorts until 22. Now let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You say that was a different time. Does that give women the right to wear whatever they want to? But if they believe on God, will they wear whatever they want to? Very good. That's the point. That's you right. agree. If you believe on God, you're not going to wear whatever you want. That's right. Because I'm going to show you something. That's the right. Leviticus 19, 29. I'm going to show you something. It's true. America says you got the right to wear whatever you want. You have that right in this country. What? Listen good what she's saying. And it's it everything to the moment. Uh -huh. I'm really disgusted by it. The fact that it's with me, right? Okay. I can walk down the street right now. Okay. This is this irritates me. Come on, talk to me. I can, I can walk right down the street right now. Okay. Like around the corner. I have on shorts. Right? You can walk down the street, have on shorts. Have on shorts. Little okay. shorts. Tank top. Tank top, all right. And a man that pulls my car, uh -huh. I don't know what I think that I'm wrong with you. 
he'll uh, think that you're prostituting. Right. But in your mind, I'm not prostituting. I'm not I'm so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Come here, let me ask you a question. Listen good to this question. Can a woman dress like a prostitute and be angry if a man says, yo, come here, mom, let me get some sex? Not at all. So she shouldn't be angry. Ah, you already said? He okay. said you shouldn't be presenting yeah, yourself like right, that. Right. Watch this. Listen, hold on. Listen good to this. Listen, 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 listen to this. Hold on, hold on. Listen to this real quick. Read this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Listen good. Do not prostitute thy daughter. The Bible says, God says, do not prostitute your daughter. The law says, do not prostitute your daughter. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. Now here's the question. Come on, Tajoy. Come on. Don't, don't worry about the cigarette. We want your mind right now. Don't worry about the cigarette. Put the cigarette down. We want you to hear this, Tajoy. Look, read it again for the top. Do not prostitute thy daughter. The question is, how do you prostitute your daughter? You may not put her on the corner of Palisades and Maine, but how do you prostitute her? By allowing her to wear mini skirts. By allowing her to have a boyfriend. Because you know what we did. When you get a girlfriend, we take her to the movies. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? The Bible says, God says, do not prostitute your daughter. Why? Because by you allowing her to have a boyfriend, you're saying she can have sex. That's, that's right. right. That's and prostituting that's your daughter. Right. And that is how she will begin to become a whore. That's, that's right. right. This is God's word. Right. God is teaching us how to be parents. Right. Right. God is teaching us how to love. God is giving us restrictions. Yo, come to the school tonight, 6 p.m. You got the flyer? Get the flyer. Give him a flyer. Read it again. Tajoy. Yeah, come here, Tajoy. Come here. I got the flyer. 44 Southwest Street. Address one there. This is what I want you to do, Tajoy. Yeah. Right there. This is what I want you to do. Tonight, 6 p.m. Tonight, 6 p.m. This is what I want you to do. Listen to this scripture right here. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Tajoy, when black women dress with revealing clothes, they're not going to get a respectable husband. Right. Listen good. When black women reveal their bodies, they're not going to get a respectable man. Right. That's what God is saying. Yeah. I know for a fact, a man is going to respect a woman more clothes. Right. Because I don't, I didn't, the vision in his mind is. Right. She has a care for her body, so I'm going to respect her body. Right. The minute you put on some. Exactly. So to Joy, can you really get mad you get when mad. you wear revealing clothes and you said really these men approach you that? You can't get mad. What you got to do is say, you know what? I'm going to change the way I dress. Exactly. I gotta switch up. Listen good. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter uh -huh. to cause her to be a whore. Because it causes her to be a whore. It causes her to lower her principles. It causes her to change the way she respects and her body and mind. This is Come on. Thing too. Go ahead. Black man, right? Uh -huh. black, this is what bothers me. Come on. The fact that a black man would get mad and get angry at uh -huh. the time of, you know, recession or whatever, uh -huh. hard time. You would want your woman to go out and prostitute and get money to come home and bring you money, but yet you won't get to get a job. But guess what? That's how some men think. Get Deuteronomy 2048. Some woman. men, some men, and hey, guess what? Door. It's in our families. Some men and prostitute the, women. They turn it into a business. Right. right. That's how some men think. Guess what? That's hatred. That's hatred. It's hatred against women. Man. Exactly. And, know, and not only against women, but look at this. It's hatred against your own race. That's what? Your own race. Guess what? Is there sex trafficking in Yonkers? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Everybody, Hell yeah, everybody, of course. Everybody. God says that is against his law. Yes, right, watch it. Listen to this. To Joy, listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Listen good. Therefore, though, no, no. therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. The Bible says we would serve our enemies. We would serve our enemies. Let me ask you a question. Who are our enemies? Right. Who's that, Tajoy? Ourselves. That's our that's my enemies right there. The police. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Right there. You say uh, yourself. And my brother's a fireman. My brother's, brother's a fireman. fireman. Yeah. Okay. Who's the, who's our enemy? Satan. You say Satan. Okay. 
Okay. No, I mean, Anybody I mean, doing evil. Anybody some, doing evil. Sometimes you can be your own enemy. He said sometimes you can be your own enemy. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. One more. Watch this. Listen good to this. About the enemy. Come on, Tajoy. You hitting that cigarette hard. Come on, Tajoy. I need you. Here we go. Throw that cigarette out. There we go, Tajoy. There we go, Tajoy. There we go. There we go. Oh, now he's gonna get a hit. Oh, okay, all praise, my man. I'm not even gonna smoke. See, that's respect right there. That's respect. Look at this. Oh, 40. Give him the flyer. 44 Southwest. Wake up. 44 Southwest Street. Read this. Come, come tonight at 6 p.m. Brother man, come tonight at 6 p.m. Listen good. Watch. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Need y'all to listen good. Watch. Therefore, shall those serve thy enemies. God said you would serve your enemies. Okay, read on. That's from slavery days. We been Which the? Our there you go. He That's already got it. That's old. Man. He already old got scripture. it. He already got it. We've been serving our enemy for years. Slavery. Slavery. We've been serving. Come on. Which the Lord just sent against thee. It said, but look, the Lord was sent him against us. Who is this enemy? Who came against black people? Who? The white man. Is that true? Oh, That's true. Wait. Who? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Yes? No? Yes? It's evil yes. on justice. Evil. Say it again. Evil on justice. Evil on justice. Read it. Read on. Which the Lord just said against thee. Watch this. Watch this. Listen good. Remember, Moses wrote this. Come on. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. It says in hunger, in thirst, and in nakedness. It says we would serve for food, for water, and for clothing. When did that happen? When the last time you know you had to pay for water? When did that happen? You say you don't know? When, okay. When did black people have to serve another race for water, for food, and for slavery? Slavery. I ain't got to say no more. When did that, oh, you already know, slavery. Now look, look at the images. This happened in slavery, where one race enslaved another race. God says, I did that. God says, I did that. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. That's right. No, look, look, this is why God did it. Because we broke his commandments. We broke his commandments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We broke God's laws. So he said, because of that, I'm going to punish you. Hosea 5.15. No, 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 but listen to this. Because you got work to do. You got work to do. Right. If we say we believe on Jesus Christ, what are you doing? What are you doing? You have to be keeping his laws and helping your community. That's, That's right. right. Listen to this. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 15. Come on. I will go and return to my place. God says, I'm going to leave and go to my place. Come on. Till they acknowledge their offense. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for us to acknowledge no. we have committed no. sin. That's what he's looking for. Guess what? What are we guilty of? Adultery. Fornication. Lesbianism. Homosexuality. Drug use. We're guilty. God says, I want you to acknowledge you're guilty. Read you on. Know and seek my faith. I want you to seek my face. How do you seek God's face? By reading the Bible. Yes, Read. Man. In their affliction. So God says, you know what I'm going to do to my people? I'm going to afflict them. I'm going to oppress them. Right. Because when you get afflicted, when you get oppressed, when you're going through trials and struggles, who do we turn to? Wow. The Lord. That's what he says he's going to do. I'm going to put you in poor neighborhoods. I'm going to have systems of laws where you're gonna say, how is this right? We're getting oppressed, we're getting shot. God says, I'ma do that until you do what? See my face. Read. In their afflictions, they will seek me early. Give me Isaiah 45 and seven. Isaiah 45 and seven, watch. You said that don't sound too good. You're right. What's the God who's supposed to love us? Who's supposed to love us? Why should he do things to hurt us? Very why good question. To, to, to show you, you heard that question? If God loves us, why would he hurt us? Hold on. Right. This is what I'm going to show you. Hold on. Hold this. Hold Isaiah 45, 7. Go to Judges 6 and 13. Judges 6 and 13 about getting it. This is a good question. 
because that shows you want to know the answer. I'm gonna show you right here. Because God says to Joya, to Joya, don't worry about him. God says he would afflict our people. Right. Why? Read this. Judges chapter 6, verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord. Gideon said to the Lord, Oh my Lord. Read. If the Lord be with us, if you're with us, God, if you love us, God, read. Why then is all this befallen us? Why are black people always on the bottom? If God loves black people, why are we always on the bottom? Why are we always oppressed? Why don't we own anything? Why are all our neighborhoods burned down? Why do we suffer slavery for 400 years? Why were we sold throughout China, Russia, Japan, Arab countries? Why, why, why? Read. And, and where be all the miracles? And where be all the miracles which our fathers taught us? So Gideon had the same question you had. Gideon said, Lord, if you love us, why are you oppressing us? Why? Here's the answer. Here's the answer. Here's the answer. Deuteronomy 20, verse 47. This is the answer right here. Because we hate God. Right, right. We hate God. You know what's the proof? Because, you know why? Because we, because guess what? Our ancestors, our ancestors broke God's laws. You gotta realize, these are your ancestors. That's what? When you open that Bible, you're reading the records of black people. Okay, that's that's right. right. Read this. I don't, I don't, that's because that happened to them? Yes. That don't mean I'm gonna have that same kind of attitude. But guess what? God said, I'm gonna punish you anyway. Well, yeah, because your fathers right. did wrong. Think that, about that's it. That's right. It's for a generational curse. There you go. That's, See, that's, Tajoya, you're that's, thinking. That's, that's not right. Think about it. You say that's not right to you, but guess what? Our ancestors made an agreement with God. We're not going to do wrong. We're going to keep God's laws, but we broke it. Listen, read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you. What's your name? David. David. Guess what, David? During the Jim Crow South. Excuse me, brother. Jim Crow South, right? During the, during the Jim Crow South, guess what? We were persecuted. We suffered oppression, right? But it's like, hold on. I'm not from this neighborhood. Like, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not knocking. To Joy, listen, listen good. I want you to stay and listen too. I can hear you. Good. I want you to stay and listen to this. That's a word like Martin Luther King, man. Very good. I Very good. Listen. You. Malcolm X, yeah. all I can Look, hear you. The Bible is showing us. Yeah, what? right there. Just there, because right there. we will be in a different neighborhood, a different town, will we still suffer persecution? Guess what? I could be a black man. I'm in Europe. How do you think they're going to treat me in certain neighborhoods? Like a nigga. But wait, I, I didn't do nothing to you. They don't care. Just because you black. Because we're suffering off of the sins of our ancestors. That's right. Guess what? Black people are cursed. That's right. The Bible says that. But guess what, Tajoya? Guess what, David? If you're serious about changing your ways, you're going to stay and listen. You're going to say, okay, well, what do I got to do? That's what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come tonight, 6 p.m. I'll check you out. 6 p.m., David. You a man of your word, I'm going to see you tonight. Right. If you a man of your word, you're going to be there tonight. That's Tajoya, right. listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. This is why we broke our because laws. Because you got to understand, there are women that sell their bodies here for prostitution. There are women that are being pimped. There are women that sell drugs. There are women that are using drugs. Say it again. It get, but guess what? You could change. You can change. That's right. But you got to be serious. What? Right. You can no longer, you gotta no say, you know what? Say, no, exactly, 1 Corinthians chapter six. 1 Corinthians chapter six. I'm gonna show you something, Joy. 1 Corinthians chapter six and That's verse, um, uh, no, not nine, verse 14. To Joy, I want you to listen good. I don't care what happened. God don't care what happened in your past. The past is the past. What are you doing now? You can be that right woman saying, you know what, to other prostitutes, to other women that you knew that used drugs, and guess what, I know that life, I've been down here. Now you're gonna, yeah, 14, watch this, read this, listen to this. First Corinthians chapter six, verse 14. Yes. And that are both raised up the Lord, and will also raise up us by his own power. Now, to Joya, listen good to this, verse 13, I want you to listen good, watch. Meats for the belly. Meats for the belly, right? And the belly for meats. And the belly for meats, come on. But God, but God shall destroy both 
it and them. God will destroy both the meats and the body. But that's not the point that I want. Read on. Listen good to what Paul's about to tell us. Paul is about to reveal something to us about our life. Read. No, the body is not for fornication. The body is not for prostitution, Paul that's says. What? The body is not for fornication. Guess who got to hear that scripture? Pornography actresses. Because they have turned their... Guess what? You can tell them this, but that's why I said to Joya. To Joya. To Joya. That's why I said tonight come here at 6 p.m. Tonight come here at 6 p.m. You understand? 6 p.m. tonight you come. Yeah. Listen. Yes. Come on. Read on. But for the Lord and the Lord for the body. You understand? The body says your body is not for sex, but it's for the Lord. You understand, to Joya? Guess what? We're talking, we're giving you God's word because God is that father figure to us. So we are his children. You gotta change your life. That's you got right. Got to Tajoya? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth